How's it going guys, Bainey here and welcome to video 35 of Facebook Ads for Small Businesses where I teach small business owners just like you exactly how to run Facebook Ads for your business so you don't have to pay me thousands of dollars a month to do it for you. In today's video guys, I'm going to be talking about the progression of conversion events as we move through the funnel. So sometimes when you're first getting started, you might want to start on the very first event that you're optimizing for in your funnel, which would probably be like a view content or something like that. On an e-com store, you'll probably start straight at purchases because it's just the way it is. But if you're optimizing for maybe a PDF download or a webinar view or, or someone to get to the contact page, you'll probably want to start on the very first event, which will be a view content. So that's what I'm going to cover in today's video. But before I get into that, if you're following along and you like the content I put out, hit that subscribe button for us. It really helps my channel grow. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. And let's jump into today's video. It's like a, a funnel sort of. It's just his basic website. On his website, he's got a contact page. On the contact page, he's got a form they fill out and then they click submit. So it's sort of a funnel, very basic one. But the very first thing we wanna do is we wanna optimize for a content view. And so the content view is one of the first things, one of the first events that will get triggered once someone's landed on the website. So what we do, what that looks like is when we're setting up the ad on a conversion ad, we'd go, website and we would go view content it's called a content view so then once we've got 200 contact views so we we set up our table so we can get it like this if you don't know how to set these up go back to one of my earlier videos where i'll show you how to do it and when we get 200 contact views then we want to move on to contacts so contacts is the event on the contact page. Once we get 200 people on the con on the content views, which is a content views page, then we want to start optimizing for people who have visited the contact us page. And the, and the way we do that is we simply start creating ads with the event called contact. And again, I've showed you how to set up these individually on pages in my previous videos. So go back and watch those if you haven't already. And then again, once we get 200 events on our contact page that means 200 people have now visited our contact page then we want to move to the next step which is leads this stage which is our final step and a lead is someone who fills out that form and clicks submit hopefully that all makes sense and once like i said you just do this you just come through here and then select lead and start making ads optimizing for leads so the way you'd probably do it on an e-com store is you just go straight to purchases so let me pull let me pull one up for an example so I'll pull up just an example of a e-com store. The conversion ad, you pick website and you'd go straight to purchases, which would be here. That's how I would recommend if you're running an e-com store or you're running ads for someone else's e-com store, go straight to purchases. Depends on your product. You should get fairly cheap clicks straight away. Facebook just has a lot of data on a lot of purchases made through Facebook. So there should be, you should reasonably be able to get cheap clicks. But if clicks are like three or four dollars, maybe five, you know, if they're too expensive, you might think about coming in and start optimizing for an add to cart first. So add to cart would be your first step. You'd get 200 add to carts and you would move on to initiate checkout. So get 200 initiate checkouts and then, then potentially move straight on to purchases. I would skip the ad payment info and then I'd move straight to purchases. So that's one way you could do it. The other way, obviously, just go straight to purchase, so purchases. So hopefully all that makes sense, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you're following along, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave me a comment below if you have any questions. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to test creatives and audiences inside of the one ad. It's probably going to be a bit of a longer um, video, so keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.